In today's video, I downloaded five legal mods to completely upgrade my Gorilla Tag experience. Starting with the first, Dev Blink Mod. Also, um, do you see this graph? Yeah, make that number. Yeah, that one right there. Make that one go up. What this mod does is it basically just makes all the gorillas blink. I'll take my glasses off so you can try and see it. <gasps> there we go, it just happened. There we go. Let's go try it out in a public lobby. See if I can get other people to blink. Oh, <gasps> oh I saw you blink. I saw you blink. Look at me in the eyes. <gasps> I saw it. Let's go. That's sick. Purple, look at me. Just look at me. It worked. Wait, you look at me. I want to see if I can see it through your glasses. It does. Okay, because on you, it won't work because you have the eye things. That mod is pretty cool, but for some reason, it doesn't work with these on. I wonder if you can like kind of see it through my glasses. Oh yeah, 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 I just saw it. Now let's move on to mod number two. The next mod is Gorilla Server Stats. Basically, it makes this sign right here say the statistics of the server. All right, first, let's see if it works in privates. All right, so I'm in my fan code, Jackaroo. I join that for every YouTube video I make. Join it to be in a video, I don't know. <laughs> and let's check the server stats board. All right, so as you can see right here, it says the code name. It says how many players are in it. Um, who the master of the lobby is and the total players on Gorilla Tag. It also says your playtime for your session, which I think is a cool time. Let's try it out in a public now. Alright, uh, is there a service chat board in here? Yeah, I don't think there's a service chat board in Mountains. As you can see, there's not really a sign anywhere. This is like the only sign that there would be anything, and there's nothing there. What the heck? Can you do the air show the me? <laughs> what the? No, no, bro, you were just in my mom's lobby. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we bro, just got you. in the same lobby. <laughs> bro, I'm filming a video right now. That's definitely going in. What the heck? <laughs> So you can see if we join uh, Forest though, it shows up. Forest is connected to Stump. That mod is uh, pretty cool. On to mod three. All right, now this next one, you've actually been seeing all throughout this video, and that is this step counter. Basically, it just has your steps on here, and actually recently on stream, I hit 100,000 steps. That was pretty cool. But yeah, basically you can see every time I take a step, it adds one to the counter. It's a pretty basic step counter, but it's really cool. I could definitely see how I can make a lot of videos with this. All right, I'm gonna go into public and see if people can guess my step. Kill it, kill it. I have a step counter. Guess how many steps I have. Try and guess how many steps I have on my step counter. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's above, it's above 100,000. Stand right there, sir. Stand right there. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Bro, it's not Jamie Killer. No, monkey, he's just kind of doing this. Now, mod four. Mod four is called Leaderboard Colors, and it's actually really cool. Let me show you. All right, so as you can see, my leaderboard is red, not the usual green. This is because my in-game color is red. So yeah, if you didn't guess it. Basically, whatever your color code is, is the color of the leaderboard. This works in every map. As you can see, if I go to city, it's red. If I go to, I don't know, clouds, the leaderboard's red. Now, if I change my color code to black, the leaderboard becomes black. If I change my color code to white, the leaderboard becomes white, and I just realized you can't see anything <laughs> but the little speaker. I really like this one. I, I look so gross with this color code. Now for the final mod, and personally my favorite. Number five is Gorilla Shirts mod. Let me show you it right now. As you can see, you get this little menu and stump. It lets you put on custom hoodies and stuff like that. As you can see, now I have a nice little hoodie on. I know there's also a way to get like custom stuff, but uh, I'm not that technical. You can also get hoodies that like match your color. And the overall GUI is just really nice. Also, if I go in a modded lobby and somebody else has the mod, I can actually see their hoodie as well. Anyway, that's pretty much the video. If you didn't enjoyed, uh, I really hope they get or at least like the video and leave a comment. It really helps out and I'm trying to grow as a YouTuber, so if you would subscribe, it would really help out. So I spent like 10 hours editing this. It's uh, it, it's midnight and I really gotta go to bed. Subscribe! <laughs>